Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's I'm excited to be doing this video for you guys. It's my first cloth and paper box. I have not even opened it. I just received it right now on mm, on the mail and I was really excited and I decided to do an unboxing, first impressions, thoughts and talk to you guys a little bit about cloth and paper in my opinion. So I've always used um, other types of planners. At the moment, I'm using Hobonichi, Astyology, and I'm using uh, rings, personal wide, but I've never used a A5 size. So today I have here my A5 size a ring planner, and I've never used it this size, so we're gonna test it out and see if I like it, if it's something that I'm going to be doing moving forward if this is gonna be like my everyday carry. So I'm just gonna show you really quick. It's just a simple A5 ring planner. I already have a couple of things here. Um, I have my dividers already in place and I have a few things from my shop and I have a little bit of setup as far as you can see. But I'm excited because we're gonna be setting it up today with cloth and paper. So let's go ahead and jump here. So if you guys want to see what's inside my box, how I set up an A5 planner, and my thoughts and everything, um, all you have to do is let's go ahead and keep on watching. So first thing is, I love how they package everything. So I'm just trying to, let me just take this. Let me zoom out so you guys can, okay. So we have first, as you can see, a, this beautiful package. Cross this off your list, your order has arrived. This is pretty cool, I like this. Then you have your packaging slip, slip and, a, and you have your thank you code. And this is cute. I've seen a lot of people use this on their planner, so of course. This is very pretty. This is the 2020 collection. Yay. So first thing is first, I order some of the I order some of the flags. I order some of the flags. The only color they had available was dusk and nude. Then we have the cloth and paper 2020 um, dashboard. We have whatever you do for work or play, do with passion. I order some monthly expenses. I have some note paper because I love taking notes purchase tracker because the main reason why I want this planner is to help me budget and keep track of my finances then we have the this is the 2020 dated monthlies and then we have the 2020 weekly um inserts and then last but not least we have the uh dailies I think this is the dailies yeah, this is a 2020 dailies. So I pretty much ordered the essentials I needed to set up my A5. So that's what we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna bring you guys. So we're gonna start my inbox on um, Okay, so here, I'm just going to go ahead and do a fast forward because all I'm doing is pretty much opening up all packaging and putting everything together. So I pretty much started, of course, with monthly. I feel like it'll change as my time goes by. I feel like it'll change. Maybe I'll do monthly later or a little bit like further in the back. But So I just started kind of putting, I think I, I went with monthly, weeklies, and then I went with dailies. 
but I saw that um, it's a lot of paper, like it's a lot of paper stack. So what I did is, um, we're in March already, we're mid-March. So what I did was, um, with everything, I went back and took out everything that was prior to March 15th and just kind of removed it. So as you can see, I removed, um, I think these are the dailies, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, so I just kind of removed everything that was prior to March and I left everything else because I saw that it was gonna get, it was getting too chunky and my rings are not as wide enough for everything. And I still have things that I wanna add, of course. Um, so here I'm just laying them out kind of how I think I'm gonna be using them throughout my planner. I'm thinking monthly, weekly, daily, probably my financial inserts and also I'm also missing the top tab that I just purchased I just placed an order today um when they came in stock I purchased the top tab in the mauvey pink and the top tabs are gonna be pretty much for like current day and current week and maybe um to separate my finances in the back so yeah here you see me kind of just flipping um through it kind of just kind of making sure that everything kind of just works and flows together you already know how it is when you're just setting up your planner you go back and forth between inserts and uh, dashboards and pockets and whatnot until you find what really works for you um as you see uh in the back i normally leave my notes in the back but i feel like i'm going to transition the notes to the front part of the planner since i'm normally like to kind of go in my planner and write a little bit of like ideas and stuff so i feel like that's gonna be in the front but we'll see so here i'm just um using everything that came in the box this is just a pretty uh picture and i've seen everyone use it in their planner so i would go ahead and hole punched it and just put it there i just thought it would look cute and then these little um pocket frosted dashboards are actually coming to my shop um, I'm going to start pre-ordering, um, doing pre-orders for these on A5 rings only at the moment um, on Monday. So if you're interested on getting these, I have, will have pre-orders and they will ship uh, two weeks after the pre-order date, which is going to be on Monday. So yeah, um, there we go guys. This is just pretty much my setup at the moment. I put those clear um, mobby pink notepads. So just a little flip through I still have to add a couple of things but this is just um, very minimal this is just what works for you I feel like if it's your first time and you're starting out and you don't know how to start where to start I feel like this is it just buy yourself some uh, dividers I'm gonna link everything down below you get yourself some dividers get yourself some inserts and then um, just put it in your planner and then just that's it that's all you have to do honestly I recommend getting monthlies weeklies dailies um trackers any sort of trackers and um of course note paper those are the ones that you're going to use the most and uh, everything else is just deco so you can just go and get as you go as you can see you're going to see me um put this dashboard that is coming on monday to the shop i love it it's just so minimal and so simple and um just kind of playing with the setup but i feel like don't put too much thought into it just have fun and trust me it'll it'll flow it'll flow just make sure that the planner is you it is what you're going to use every single day don't worry about what you see on instagram and just have fun guys so this is just the last touches i'm putting on it i really hope you liked the video if you did don't forget to thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to follow me on my instagram i will leave everything down below thank you guys so much for watching bye